Smoothly Handling Interruptions, The Art of Apology and Refocusing. Hello and welcome to this English language learning video. Today we'll be diving into the intricacies of managing interruptions during a call, especially focusing on the importance of apologizing and refocusing on the conversation. You'll learn how to handle interruptions in a polite and effective manner, to ensure that your communication remains smooth and professional. Now, why is it important to apologize when there is an interruption during a call? Well, it's because we want to show respect for the other person's time and attention. Interruptions can be distracting and disrupt the flow of conversation, so an apology can go a long way in smoothing over any bumps. Let's look at some ways we can apologize during a call. 1. I apologize for the interruption. This is a straightforward, formal way of apologizing. It's perfect for professional settings. 2. Sorry about that. There was a little interruption here. This is more casual and can be used in less formal situations or with people you're more familiar with. 3. My apologies, there was some noise in the background. This not only apologizes but also subtly explains why there was an interruption. Once you've apologized, the next step is to refocus back on the conversation. You don't want to dwell too much on the interruption itself. Here are a few phrases to help you transition back to the topic of conversation. 1. Now, where were we? This is a good, neutral phrase that can help you get back on track. 2. So, you were saying, this not only refocuses the conversation but also shows that you were paying attention before the interruption. 3. Let's pick up from where we left off. This is a more formal phrase, ideal for professional settings. Let's put these phrases to use in some scenarios. Scenario 1. You're on a business call, and there's a sudden loud noise in the background. You might say, I apologize for the interruption. There was some unexpected noise on my end. Now, you are mentioning the new marketing strategies? Scenario 2. You're talking with a friend, and your dog starts barking loudly. You could say, sorry about that, my dog decided it's time to be heard. So, you were telling me about your vacation? These are just examples, of course. Feel free to adapt the phrases to fit your own style and the situation. And that brings us to the end of our video. Remember, handling interruptions gracefully is all about showing respect, apologizing sincerely, and refocusing effectively. It's something that becomes easier with practice, so don't worry if you're not perfect right away. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Happy learning, and goodbye for now.